Ladies and gents, what up, what up? Let's talk. So, interesting day yesterday. I had a conversation. I was having I was with a friend, old friend, and I was uh looking at some news articles on my phone. I seen an article that stated how the FBI is associating anyone who uses the key terms, the keywords or phrases red pill as well as as well as a other a couple of other phrases they're de well they're, they're basically uh saying these individuals are extremists so at this point i would be considered an extremist because i would identify to some degree with red pill philosophy before i get into my opinion uh what's funny is that this person i was having a conversation with i let him know you know i laughed they want to know what's funny, talking about the article. And then they wanted to start having a conversation about if I'm red pill. And in general terms of how I'm talking to you guys, because for most of you guys, I'm sure men or women, if you're watching, you're red pill to a degree because you're here, because you're kind of conscious or aware of what's going on around you in this world, right? Because that's what red pill is, is to me. So she pulled up the, the definition, oh, excuse me, just finished eating, so. She pulled up some definition out of one of these websites, you know, had all types of incel and black pill and all this stuff, and I'm just like, <laughs> I was like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't personally identify with any of those beliefs. I personally don't consider myself black pill black pill is more I would think I don't know really what it is but I would think black pill it's more so like a real negative type of pessimistic look on society which I'm I don't have um, I've never been an inside I don't have problems getting women I more so have problems with the idea of marriage and having kids but getting women getting ass uh, no so I, I can't consider myself an incel but it's it was just funny, all these type of... I, I wish I had the link, I, I don't, but... I mean, just all the stuff that they were saying as defined as red pill, it, it's it's sad. But they lumped in, like, men who even are men's rights and all this other stuff. They, they lumped it all into this category. And as for the conversation with me and the person, you know, and they also wanted to go back and talk about the Goldman Sachs video and... I, I just looked at them like you're corny and I let them know like I don't care what you think just like I don't care what the FBI thinks I don't care what people on YouTube think that's why I have my own channel to create my own narrative to speak on on issues and subjects that are true and dear to me and not have any man woman black white Asian or what have you sit here and tell me who I am or what my opinion is or whatever the case may be because they read an article and all of a sudden whatever the article says goes now I'm gonna create my own narrative that's how I operate ending off that conversation with the person I let them know you considered yourself a feminist at one point right right but there's different varying levels of degrees to feminism you got feminism feminists who they really hate men like they hate men want to kill men and then you have feminists who they just really want the promotion of the, the promoting of women's rights on a basic level so there's varying levels to everything um for me i don't consider myself a christian but i do believe in the bible but i don't call myself a christian so yes i do identify with red pill but i don't have these beliefs of hating women and 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 now let me get into my opinion it's unfortunate and i've said this in every video if you identify or think about red pill and the first thought in your mind comes to a woman one as a man you need to do more development i'm not knocking you you need to do more development because life is so much bigger than women and a lot of the i understand where the extremist ideas come from because a lot of these things that are being spoken and 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 taken in are, are coming from older men to young men who probably don't have fathers uncles and other 
forward thinking men in their lives to kind of sit them down and balance them out like listen for example with 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 women you don't have to hate women but you do have to understand them and in, in fact i honestly believe that you can only do one of the two you can either understand women or you can love them but i don't think you can do both because once you understand women you're like <laughs> love but don't fall in love if you know what i mean Especially in this modern society, it's just not a good good idea. But again, as a man, you have to figure that out for yourself. If you're hearing a lot of this stuff from different men at 16, you never had a girlfriend, and then you know things are kind of tough for you trying to have a girlfriend, even though yeah, you want a girlfriend at 16, 17, 18, 15, 14. But you're seeing how crazy it is out here with trying to have that. You might have like pessimistic, negative thoughts regarding relationships, and so they categorize red pill as this nonsense. I mean, shit, it is what it is. I, I ain't, I'm not sitting out here trying to freaking change the world. I mean, please. But Red Pill is not about women. Red Pill is about understanding life. It's about understanding everything that's going around us. Everything that is transpiring in the educational system. If you, Once you realize that the educational system was set up to get you to be an employee, not to teach you great life skills to be a successful individual. No, that's not what school is about. School is about making you a great employee and putting your ass in debt to where you're tied for your job for life. If you break out of that thought process, you've been red pilled. If you look back and say, damn, this is a this is a freaking fast food spot on every corner in the hood. This is a liquor store on every other block in the hood. You've been red pilled. And it also goes for marriage, for relationships. I mean, 90% of divorces are initiated by women. What more of a fucking statistic or factual evidence do you need to see that, yo, maybe I just shouldn't sign this contract? I'll take care of my kid 18, 21 years, no problem. But I'm not gonna sign this marriage contract. Now that's for every man to make in his own right but you should be entitled to that opinion if that's what you want to go. If that's the route you want to go. So, all we're seeing right now is the uh, 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 demonization of men who are thinking different. And we as men have to understand that they're going to demonize and put men down for these opinions because men are the back the backbone of society the plumbers the electricians the carpenters the garbage disposals the guys who are digging up these streets and putting them back down building these buildings these are mainly man jobs yes women are entering these occupations of course yeah we see that but for the most part these are male jobs men are the builders of society men have to realize that they want you to be in poverty. They want you to have kids, get married, get divorced. You fuel the judge system. You fuel the legal system. You fuel the attorneys. Marriage is big business. Houses and cars, all this consumerism. They need men to be asleep. They need men to... be blue-pilled or, or, or not care about society. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. So I'm gonna end that here. Appreciate y'all watching. Video two is right after this one. Later.